Step 3. Advanced Project Administration In this step, we will learn more about advanced project administration techniques. We will discuss how to use the project log, customize the role of users on a project level, and so on. We will also add a new team member with the viewer role to the teamwork project, and we will also discuss the benefits of this teamwork role. Let's first see how to customize the various roles. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith. Let's change some of the fill settings in the project in the name of Joe Smith, since his draftsman role enables us to do so. Double-click to activate the 5.3.1 Fills preset view located in the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator view map. Here we can see various pavement areas around the building represented with the brick stack bond fill. The grid of the bricks looks too dense, so let's change this. Select the Options, Element Attributes, Fill Types menu command to open the Fill Types dialog. Click the Reserve button at the bottom of this dialog to reserve it for editing. Select the Brick Stack Bond Fill Type at the top. Remember that we are doing this in the name of Joe Smith who has a draftsman role which enables us to make such a change in the fill settings. In the Edit Vectorial Pattern panel, Set 200 in both the horizontal and vertical spacing fields. Click the Release button to release the Fill Settings dialog, and then click OK to accept and apply these changes. Notice that the spacing of the modified fills has been updated in the project. Let's continue and delete some project views which Joe Smith thinks are not needed in the current construction documentation phase. In the view map of the navigator, right-click the Architectural DD folder in the list and select Reserve Folder Settings from the context menu. Click the Delete button to delete it. In the upcoming warning dialog, click Delete Anyway. Click Send and Receive in the Teamwork palette. Then select File, Save to save the project. Finally, Select the file Leave Teamwork Project to temporary log out of the project. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones, the lead architect of the project. Click the Send and Receive button in the Teamwork palette. Activate the 5.3.1 Fills preset view from the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator view map. The results of the fill modifications done by Joe Smith are visible here. Let's continue and restrict the role of Joe Smith Draftsman for the current project only. Right-click the BIM server icon in the Windows taskbar or the Macintosh menu bar and select the Open Graphisoft BIM Server Control Center option from the pop-up list. In the appearing dialog, click the Server Manager button to start the BIM Server Manager application. Select Projects in the left pane and click on the name of the MS Building TW project to select it. Click the Settings button in the lower right area of the dialog. This is the Project Settings dialog of the BIM Server Manager. Here we can specify project-specific settings. Notice the small lock button in the upper right area of this dialog. Click this icon. As you can see, the project can be locked with the help of this icon. 
When a project is locked, it is not possible to edit it. We will not lock our project at this time. Click the Project Log button. This will open the Project Log dialog. Here you can see the log of various actions that were performed by the users of this project. In the User field, select Joe Smith. In the Action field, select Send. Then click the Refresh button. In the list below the Refresh button, all send actions by Joe Smith will be listed and in addition, the exact time of the action is also displayed. Click the Close button to leave the Project Log dialog. Let's expand the Users and Roles panel of the Project Settings dialog. Here we can change the role of any user for the current project. Such changes in the roles of the users are valid for the current project only. In other projects, users will have their same default role. The Backups panel enables us to create and restore project backups, which we will discuss in a later step. Click the Add button in the Users and Roles panel and select Joe Smith from the list. Joe Smith appears in the list of users. We can see that he has a default draftsman role. We would like to slightly modify his role in this project. We do not want to modify the default draftsman role because of other future team members who will join the project. We will create a custom draftsman role for Joe Smith valid in the current project only. Click in the Role field for Joe Smith to select him. Click the right pointing arrow button and select Custom from the list to open the Edit Custom Role dialog. Go to the Attributes section of the list and uncheck all checkboxes that give you the right to delete or modify a specific attribute. We do not want to allow Joe Smith to delete or modify any attribute settings so we will revoke his right to do this in this project. Click the OK button to accept these changes. Then click OK again to leave the Project Settings dialog. Click the Apply Changes at Next Join button in the appearing message box. Joe Smith's roles have now been restricted. We will see shortly what effects this change has on his project environment. Let's add a new team member with a viewer role in the BIM Server Manager. Viewers have no access to any element or project setting, but they can freely view the design development. For instance, it might be a good idea to add clients you are working closely with to the viewer role in the Teamwork project. Select the Users category on the left. Click the Create button at the bottom of the dialog and select Create New User from the pop-up list. Fill out all the fields of the New User Settings dialog. Enter View Only for Name and also for the password. Select Viewer for the role. Do not check the Server Administrator or the Project Administrator checkboxes. Finally, click the Create button to proceed. The new viewer appears among the list of users. It is also possible to export and import users from files. This is extremely useful for large offices operating several BIM servers. This is also helpful when migrating BIM servers from one computer to another. Click the Create button and select Import from File from the pop-up list. In the Open dialog, browse and select the users.bimusers file 
located next to the COL2 project file. Select it and click the Open button to proceed. In the appearing dialog, you can see the available users you can import. We will import only one of these at this time. Leave only the checkbox for Bill Taylor checked and click the Import Selected Users button to proceed. An alert dialog may appear, which notifies you that the user you are about to import has been assigned the draftsman role. However, a draftsman role already exists on the current BIM server with a different set of access rights specified. In this case, you can decide what you would like to do, overwrite the existing role, or keep the existing role and rename the imported one. Click the Keep Existing Rename Imported button to proceed. The new user is added to the list of users. Their role has now been renamed to Draftsman 1. Click the Close button to exit the BIM Server Manager. Close the Graphisoft BIM Server Control Center dialog. Switch to Joe Smith's instance of ARCHICAD and select the file, open, MS Project TW file that has Joe Smith in square brackets after its name. Since he left the teamwork project earlier, it is now downloaded from the server again, so he received its latest version. Select the options, element attributes, fill types menu command to open the fill types dialog. Then select the Brick Stack Bond fill type from the fill type list. Notice that the spacing and angle fields of the fill are grayed, so he cannot edit any of them. Even if he clicked the Reserve button at the bottom of the dialog, they would still be grayed. This is because at this time he does not have the right to delete or modify fill types as per the custom role Mary Jones has set for him for this project. As mentioned earlier, such role changes take effect only after rejoining a project. Click Cancel to leave the dialog. Let's now see what a team member with the viewer role can do in the teamwork project. Select the file, open, open or join teamwork project, menu item. In the open teamwork project dialog, select the different user option from the users pop-up list. In the login dialog, select your local machine from the server list. Enter view only for the username as well as for the password. Click OK to proceed. When the name of the project, MS Building TW, appears in the list, click it to select it and click the Join button at the bottom to join this project. You need to save the changes made in Joe Smith's name, so click Send and Save in the upcoming dialog. The Teamwork project opens, and now we are signed in as viewers. Let's see what this role allows us to do. Select one of the walls in the floor plan viewpoint. You can see the Reserve button is grayed out, which not only prevents you from doing any modifications, but also from reserving any elements. The selection hotspots of the wall do not change from locked to editable. This is because we are reserving elements as viewers. Let's activate the Wall tool from the toolbox and try to create a new wall. A message comes up telling us that none of the elements have been created because our role does not allow it. Team members with viewer roles can only view the teamwork project but not modify it. Close the currently open teamwork project in the ARCHICAD instance of the viewer team member. You don't need to save the changes. Quit this instance of ARCHICAD.